everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful star stitch dishcloth. I have two here that I made, two different sizes, and I'll talk a little bit more about changing your sizing later in the video. This is made with the star stitch. It's a really textured, very pretty stitch, and I really wanted to make mine in a solid color and a variegated color to kind of see how it would look and how the stitches would sort of play out. We're going to learn how to crochet the whole thing from start to finish with the star stitch. If you're not familiar with it, I'll walk you through step by step. And also we're going to add an optional hanging loop. So you might want to hang this to dry or to display and it's super easy to do. So let's get started. Now like I said, we're going to talk a little bit more about sizing later, but this dishcloth here that we're going to make today is five inches by five inches. And then this larger one is seven inches by seven inches. Our stitch multiple is any odd number, so it's very easy to size up and scale and change around if you need to. For this project, you're going to need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle to weave in your ends. We're going to be using a five millimeter H crochet hook. And then for our yarn, we're going to be using just some cotton dishcloth yarn. And if you're looking on your yarn label, this is a medium four on the yarn weight scale. So some cotton yarn, medium four yarn weight scale. And this yarn actually recommends the five millimeter H crochet hook. The particular brand that I'm going to be using is Peaches and Cream. It's pretty much at every craft store or craft out. It's very common, um, but really any worsted weight medium for um, cotton yarn will be just fine. I grabbed actually two colors because I wanted to see it in variegated and a solid color. So this is actually color called uh, Fleur de Lavande and then Hot Pink. So um, I'm going to be making one in each color so you can see what they both look like. Okay, so I grabbed our pink yarn and our hook and we're ready to go. Now we're gonna do our starting chain first. Um, any odd number of chains will work. So you could do, uh, we're gonna do 25, but any odd number will work and that will establish the width of your dishcloth. I just wanted to say as a side note, even though we're making this pink one together, we also have a little bit larger one that I talked about earlier in the video. This one was five inches by five inches. This one was seven inches by seven inches. I did 31 chains to get the larger size. So I just wanted to share that as well. Working our rows upward is going to establish the height and we're going to work until we have a square shape. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to zoom way in so you can see what we're doing here. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the yarn around our fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop and tighten. Then what we're going to do is do our chains. And again, any odd number, I'm going to do chain 25. If you want to make yours wider, do more chains. If you want to make it narrower, less chains, but just make sure it's an odd number. So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So you can get an idea when you look at your starting chain of how wide it's going to be. And if you're happy with that, great. If not, you can adjust using that odd multiple calculation to scale it. Okay, so let's start with row one. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, if you go over to the blog and look at the written pattern, if you're following along with that, it says to work a single crochet five together from the second chain from the hook. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So this loop here does not count. We're going to go one chain, two chains. So in that second chain from the hook, what we're going to do is insert the hook into that chain, bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Insert the hook into the next chain, bring up a loop. Three loops are on the hook. Insert the hook into the next chain and bring up a loop. Four loops are on the hook. Insert the hook into the next chain, bring up a loop. Five loops are on the hook. Insert the hook into the next chain and bring up a loop. Six loops are now on the hook. So you want to go into, you have six loops on the hook. And then what you're going to do is you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through all six loops, just like that. And then we're going to chain one to close it. And we've just made a star, our first star of our star stitch dishcloth. Okay. So then we're going to kind of build off of that. 
So our star, where we did that chain one, you can see at the top has a little hole. That's the eye. We're going to refer to that as the eye. So what we're going to do is insert the hook into that eye now and bring up a loop. You'll have two loops on the hook. You can see that. Then we're going to go in between the last two spikes of our star. See how our star has spikes that come kind of converge to the middle here? In between those last two spikes, we're going to go in between those and bring up a loop just like that. And you can see we have three loops in the hook. Then we're going to pull up a loop from the last chain worked. Now it's really easy to find that because if you kind of pull this open, you can see it's much bigger and kind of more gaping open than the other ones. See how the two next to it are a little bit smaller. So go into that last chain worked, that biggest opening, bring up a loop. And then we're going to go into the next chain, bring up a loop. So we have five loops on the hook. Next chain, bring up a loop. Six loops once again are on the hook. See how we're building off of that other star? Then we're going to wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through all six loops, just like that, okay? So now we're going to chain one to close the top of that star, all right? And now we have two little stars side by side. Easy. Okay, let's do a few more together and then we'll keep going across. So let's do the next one by inserting the hook into that eye of the star, bring up a loop. Go in between the last two spikes worked, you might need to wiggle it a little bit, and bring up a loop. Go into that last chain work. Remember, it's kind of more gaping open than the other one. See how big that is? Go into that last chain work, bring up a loop. Four loops are on our hook. Go into the next chain, bring up a loop. Five loops are on the hook. Go into the next chain and bring up a loop. Six loops are on the hook once again. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops, and chain one, just like that, okay? So now we have our next star. Okay, so let's keep going with that, and we're going to go into the eye once again, bring up a loop. We'll pick a, lo a little bit more speed this time. Go in between those uh, last two spikes on the star, bring up a loop. Three loops are on the hook. Go in that last chain worked bring up a loop, four loops are on the hook. Next chain, bring up a loop, five loops are on the hook. Next chain, bring up a loop, six loops are now on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops, and chain one. That star is complete now. Okay, moving right along, we're going to go into the eye of the star we just worked, bring up a loop, two loops are on the hook. Go in between those last two spikes of your star worked, bring up a loop, three loops are on the hook. Go in that last chain worked and bring up a loop, four loops are on the hook. Go in the next chain, bring up a loop, five loops are on the hook. Next chain, bring up a loop, six loops are on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one, just like that, okay? All right, we are, I would say about halfway through. So let's do one more together. Go into the eye and bring up a loop. Two loops are on the hook. Go in between those last two spikes of your star. Bring up a loop. Three loops are on the hook. Go in that last chain work. Remember, it's really open, more open than the others. And bring up a loop. Four loops are on the hook. Next chain, bring up a loop. Five loops are on the hook. Next chain, bring up a loop. Six loops are on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook. Bring through all six loops and chain one, okay? All right, let's pick up some speed here and we're going to kind of zip right through this. All right, once again, go into the eye, bring up a loop, go into those last two spikes worked, bring up a loop, go into that last chain worked, bring up a loop, go into the next chain, bring up a loop, next chain, bring up a loop. Six loops are on our hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Go into the eye of the star that you just made. Sometimes you have to wiggle it in there a little. Go into the, and bring up a loop. Go into the last two spikes worked, bring up a loop. Go into the last chain worked and bring up a loop. Go into the next chain, bring up a loop. Next chain, bring up a loop. You should have six loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Looking very pretty. Lots of pretty texture. Okay, go into the eye of the star you just worked and bring up a loop. Go in between the last two spikes of the star you just worked and bring up a loop. 
Go into that last chain worked and bring up a loop. Go into the next chain and bring up a loop. Go into the next chain and bring up a loop. Six loops are on the hook. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Okay. Go into the eye of the star you just worked and bring up a loop. Go in between the spikes of the last star you worked and bring up a loop. Go into that last chain you work. Remember it's open, nice and open. Bring up a loop. Four loops are on the hook. Next chain, bring up a loop. Next chain, bring up a loop. You'll have six loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Okay, we're at the end of the row and we just have one chain left. So at this last chain here, what we're gonna do is work a half double crochet into that chain, okay? So if you're not familiar with that stitch, just wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into that last chain, bring up a loop. Now bring, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through all three loops, just like that. Okay, so row one is complete. Okay, so for row two, we're gonna sort of complete the star. So it has more of a, a, a circular shape, okay? So to do that, what we wanna do is move on to row two and we want to chain two, one, two, and we're gonna turn our work. So all we need to do for this row is to work two half double crochets. Remember, we just did one. We're gonna work two half double crochets in the eye of each star from the previous row. So sometimes when you're learning star stitch, you have to kind of peek, flip it over and peek at your, uh, see where your stars, uh, the eyes of your stars are. It's a little more challenging to see it on the back here. Sometimes you need to like flip it over and peek. Okay, so we can do that. We can flip this over and look, here's the first eye. So we're gonna work two half double crochets into that eye. Now again, to make a half double crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it right into that eye of your star, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops, and then do that again into the same eye, okay? Two half double crochets into the eye. Now, two half double crochets into the next eye, Just like that. Now we flip it over if you need to see it. Once you make a few, it might be a little bit easier to see. So just try to do the best you can, but flip it over and peek if you need to. It is a little easier to see on the other side where you're supposed to be working. All right, let me get a little bit more yarn here. Again, just working two half double crochets into each eye. Just like that. All the way across. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll rejoin towards the end of the row and learn how to move on to row three. Okay, just coming up to the end of the row, I just have that last star right in the eye. We're gonna work two half double crochet. And then to finish the row, what we're gonna do, that last stitch you see at the end of the row, you can kind of flip it over. It looks like a V, it's two loops. You're gonna work just one half double crochet into that last stitch to finish up the row, okay? So just go right there at the end and work that last half double crochet stitch, okay? So row two is complete. Now let's move on to row three. So rows two and three are the rows that you do for the rest of the project, all right? So for row three, what we're gonna do this time is chain three and turn. One, two, three, turn your work. And then we're gonna go into the second chain from the hook. You might need to turn your chain a little bit just to see it. When you turn your work, it sometimes gets flipped. So in that second chain from the hook, one, two, insert into that chain and bring up a loop. You'll have two loops on the hook. Then work into the next chain, bring up a loop. You'll have three loops on the hook. See how I kind of turned it a little bit to see so now that we have three loops on the hook, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert our hook into the first stitch of the row. So you can see it right there on the end. So go into that first stitch and bring up a loop. You'll have four loops on the hook. Go into the next stitch and bring up a loop. You'll have five loops on the hook. Go into the next stitch and bring up a loop. You'll have six loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. And now your first star is set up. 
and you can see, let me move my hook so you can see a little bit better. You can see the eye from the star before it here and this eye line up. That's what we want. Okay, so now we can just sort of build off of that first star. Okay, so once again, it's just like the row we did before, except instead of chains, we're working into stitches. Okay, so it will seem very familiar. Okay, so insert the hook into the eye of that star we just made and bring up a loop. Go into those last two spikes of the star like we did before, insert it in there and bring up a loop. Go into that last stitch worked, remember before it was a chain, but see it's still a little more open looking than the other ones, you can see that. Go into that last stitch worked and bring up a loop, four loops are on the hook. Go into the next stitch and bring up a loop, five loops are on the hook. Go into the next stitch and bring up a loop, now we have six loops on the hook, that's what we're after. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. And there is our second star and you can see the two eyes line up again, okay? All right, moving right along. Insert into that eye, bring up a loop. Insert in between the last two spikes. Might need to wiggle it, bring up a loop. Insert into that last stitch worked and bring up a loop. We're at four loops on the hook as a side note. Insert, in, insert into the next stitch and bring up a loop, five loops. Insert into the next stitch, bring up a loop, six loops are on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one, okay? So you can see we're really building some lovely texture. Okay, go into the next eye, bring up a loop. Go in between those last two spikes of your star and bring up a loop. Go into that last stitch worked and bring up a loop. Go into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Next stitch, bring up a loop. Six loops are on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring through all six loops and chain one, okay? Go into the eye again, bring up a loop. Go in between those last two spikes of your star and bring up a loop. Go into that last stitch worked, bring up a loop. Next stitch, bring up a loop. Next stitch, bring up a loop. Six loops are on the hook. Yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Okay, just like that. I like to kind of straighten things out as I go. All right, insert your hook into the eye once again and bring up a loop. Insert in between the last two spikes and bring up a loop. Insert into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Insert into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Insert into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Six loops are on the hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring through all six loops and chain one. Just like that. Insert it into the eye and bring up a loop. Insert into the, in between the last two spikes of the star and bring up a loop. Insert it into that last stitch worked and bring up a loop. Insert it into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Next stitch and bring up a loop. Six loops are on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Okay, if you feel like you really have a handle on this, you can kind of keep going at your own pace. But if you want to keep watching and hang out with me here for the rest of the row, we're going to go into the eye once again, bring up a loop, go in between the last two spikes worked, bring up a loop, go into the last stitch worked and bring up a loop, go into the next stitch and bring up a loop, next stitch, bring up a loop. Six loops are on the hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Go into the eye and bring up a loop. Go in between the last two spikes worked of that star and bring up a loop. Go into the last stitch worked and bring up a loop. Go into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Next stitch, bring up a loop. Six loops are on the hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one, okay? All right, I think this is our last star of the row. Go into the eye and bring up a loop. Go into the last two spikes worked and bring up a loop. Go into the last stitch worked and bring up a loop. Go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. Next stitch, we need to wiggle it in there and bring up a loop. Six loops are on the hook, wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through all six loops and chain one. Okay, once again, we're at the end of the row. We're just gonna go and work a half double crochet into that last stitch of the row like we did before. Just like that, okay? 
we can kind of straighten things out. So that's really it for our dishcloth. You can do um, make yours uh, wider, narrower, you can do multiple sizes. But to finish your dishcloth, what we're going to do is we're going to just keep working rows two and three, two and three, over and over and over again until our dishcloth is as tall as we would like it to be. Now, we're after a square shape, so we want the width and the height to be the same, okay? So keep going, working rows two and three, two and three, over and over and over again until the height is the same as the width. But one thing to um, remember is you wanna end on row two. See, I ended on row three here and the stars aren't complete. So you can just see half of, half of the star. So um, you wanna end on row two. So just keep working rows two and three, two and three until the height is the same as the width, ending on a row two. And we'll rejoin in just a minute and I'm gonna show you how to do some finished work and add a little hanging loop onto it next. Okay, we're just working that last stitch, that last half double crochet into that last stitch. Now, you can finish your washcloth now and just leave it as is. Or, I'll grab the other one, you can add a little hanging loop on here. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So, without cutting the yarn or anything, and this loop still on your hook, let me just come in a little bit more so you can see, what we're gonna do is chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now take your hook and go back into that same stitch where you left off, and you're gonna work a slip stitch. So insert the hook into that same stitch, bring up a loop, now bring that loop through the loop, loop already on your hook, and then you have a little loop. So now we just need to do a little bit of finish work. So let me just back up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. And we're gonna cut the yarn now, and we're gonna fasten off, okay? So I just kept repeating rows two and three over and over again until my piece was square. So an easy way to tell if you have a square is to take one of the corners and fold it down and make a triangle. If there's no overhang on both sides, then you have a square. That's just a really quick way to do it. You can also measure if you like. So we have two tails we need to weave in. So we're gonna grab the first one and our tapestry needle, or yarn needle, as some people like to call it. And we're gonna go in to these stitches here. There is a front and back on this. The, the back looks very pretty also, it looks different. Um, but there is a front and back when you make star stitch. And we're just gonna go in those stitches. Okay, we're just gonna go in a little ways with our needle. And then what I like to do is pull it in and then come back in the other direction just to kind of lock everything into place. Okay, so we're just gonna weave that in just like that. Now grab your scissors, give it a trim, and repeat for the other tail. Okay, our ends are woven in. I'm gonna grab the other one. Everything looks beautiful, and these actually make a really pretty set when you put them together. So that is how you crochet an easy star stitch dishcloth. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.